All right, man, this is going to be a quick video. To my surprise, Project Slayers update. Not even update 2, Project Slayers 2. To clarify, this is not update 2. This is a whole new game. I'm not going to lie, I've heard rumors that he was working on Project Slayers 2, but I did not believe my eyes. I did not believe it. Uwap is literally known for delaying updates for Project Slayers, being that the code is pretty terrible. But I am honestly surprised. Like, Project what is Project? What even is this? Now, if you pop into the Discord, you know, you can read his little message, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much to sum it up, Project Slayer's code is terrible. Absolutely unorganized. The game is a headache to work on. So to actually update the game, he would have to pretty much remake the entire system. And at that point, you just make a new game. So he's making Project Slayer's 2. And hopefully Project Slayer's 2 is going to feature everything that we didn't get in Project Slayer's 1. He also did mention that if he finds a way to transfer data from Project Slayer's to Project Slayer's 2, he will. But there's no promises on that. We can expect a better performance, better game play funner and hopefully we'll take one to three the time it took to update ps1 for updates so basically we're gonna get consistent updates on project slayers 2. now i'm just gonna go on ahead and play the official customization teaser for project slayers 2. uwu productions interesting stuff i'm not gonna lie everything looks clean everything looks like uh i don't know it just looks really nice i mean honestly it's like the same layout uh you know you have the processes loading now right off the bat we hit with the main menu we have hub customization play honestly i like this main menu a lot better it's more clean than we have the customization all he's showing in this video is customization so that's all we get to see pretty much the style of project Slayers is in project Slayers 2 and honestly i am quite hyped for this game because uh as you know me, I am the Project Slayer Demon, so... Honestly, though, he just goes through, like, different coloring, different pants, etc., etc., different clothing. As you can see, there's jiggle physics on the hair now, etc., etc., stuff like that. And, uh, honestly, he doesn't really show much in this video. He shows, um, the slots, so, you know, it has slots in the game as well. Stuff like that. Looking at the map right now, the map looks so much better than the last map. It looks a lot more organized, more fluid. And, honestly, the game just is probably going to be a lot more organized. Look at the new animation for demons. I'm pretty sure it's like an idle animation for demon. It looks so fluent. Probably TVG glitch cooked up on, cooked up on this. Dude, honestly, this is a huge surprise. Like, what the heck? Project Slayers 2? Not update 2, but 2? Honestly, in reality though, this game is probably not coming out until like next year. Not even the end of 2024. It's probably next year, like 2025, maybe 2026. Honestly, this is probably for the best because let's be honest, if he updates on Project Slayers, let's just say we get update 2. We're never getting update 3. Update 3 is not going to be a thing. So instead of actually working on update 2 for Project Slayers, he's working on Project Slayers 2 so he can actually consistently update the game. This is a little quick video because, um, yeah, this is actually really important. I literally stopped what I was doing. Like, I was over here animating a freaking cutscene right now. I'm not going to spoil it. Go follow my Twitter if you want to see it. And this popped up. Like, bro. But with that being said, good night. I am going to sleep. I'll Show see you guys my shot like a fucking heat seeker. Off of the molly and the coke she keep her. No, I really love her, but no, I don't need her. No, it sounds bad, but I never want to leave her yeah i've been in my bag for a long long time i've been going down the road it's a long long ride and the only one i want is you my side we gonna split this shit up like it was apartheid